Join us for a day in the digital life of VIP customer Andre, who frequently shops for exercise equipment from a popular sporting goods store, Hoffman's. On Andre's journey to purchasing a limited edition bike using Pay on the Go, an online payment service, he encounters an issue. Yay! The drop for this limited edition bike from Hoffman has finally begun. I so want it now. So let me add this to my card before it gets out of stock. Why isn't my credit card payment going through yet? Ah, well, at least it's reserved in my card for another 15 minutes. Hoffman absolutely needs to know about this payment error. I'll try again in a little bit then. Delivering an exceptional digital customer experience is at the top of Pay on the Go's priorities in the new normal. However, with limited resources, increasing complexity, and rising pressure on their developers, this has proved to be challenging to achieve. Pay on the Go closed this gap with PagerDuty, the operations cloud for the modern enterprise. PagerDuty delivers streamlined, automated incident response wherever and whenever possible through integrated machine learning and powerful runbook automation. It's a cloud offering with all the right tools across all teams, developers, operations, customer service, and even executives. Like most fast-paced companies, Pay on the Go saw an increased amount of noise across their tech stack due to the growing complexity and steady increase in monitoring tools across teams. In order to combat this, Pay on the Go's admin set up event orchestration to cut down on the manual processing of events on ingest and routing events based on custom logic at scale. This pre-work came in handy today, with a timely P2 promptly popping up for the NOC L1 support engineering team as soon as a critical condition was met for the payments API service. Meet Noah, the on-call support engineer today. Oh, looks like trouble's brewing. My PagerDuty widget in Datadog tells me that there are latencies with the payments service API. I'll dive in and acknowledge so everyone knows I'm working on this. Viewing the service graph, Noah observes how Pay on the Go's business and technical service dependencies connect and impact one another across their complex environment. Looks like there's impact to both web and mobile services. He takes a deeper look into the incident details and sees how intelligent alert grouping has automatically grouped relevant alerts together so he can focus on the signal through the noise. Hmm. PagerDuty shows a high chance that this started from another incident on the mobile service. Probable Origin auto-generated a list of likely incident origin points using historical data from correlated incident patterns. This directed Noah to where to look first to start troubleshooting. Oh, here are the change events that occurred before the outage. Interesting. No time to waste. I'll run root user diagnostics on the server. With time being a critical resource for digital teams, PagerDuty democratizes the ability to automate parts of Pay on the Go's digital operations to reduce toil. This is where Noah leverages Rundeck actions. He's never had root-level access across systems before, but now he has permissions to run automated diagnostics to cut valuable minutes off of the incident duration. Rundeck Actions pulls uptime data for the Payment Service API that returns long uptime values and timeouts. The diagnostic output is easily viewable by any responder involved in the incident. Great! The Rundeck Action is already fetching the output report. I'll run this P2 response play to get the right eyes on this. Response plays instantly mobilize relevant teams and keep stakeholders in the business informed of the current incident status and impact. Meanwhile, Dahlia, a proactive pay-on-the-go customer service agent, notices rising customer complaints in Salesforce following the Hoffman's complaint. Yikes. Let me check if there are any ongoing incidents with engineering in the status dashboard before I quickly get back to our customers. PagerDuty arms pay-on-the-go's customer-facing teams with full visibility into the information they need during critical incidents, so they can keep their customers like Hoffman's happy. Mm. I'll link this case this to the ongoing incident so the team is aware of the customer impact so far. Meanwhile, the response play engages the site reliability engineers. SREs are perpetually busy and highly sought after to help with issues. Round Robin scheduling equitably distributes on-call shift responsibilities for people strained teams. Several SREs are already working on other issues, so this incident is assigned to Miyoko, who joins in. There's an issue with the Web Payment Service API. I'll start investigating. Hmm, 
A new deployment took place today and it's suggesting that another incident has been caused by this same change. Let me verify that. Incidents in pay on the go are frequently caused by recent changes. PagerDuty's change events integration surfaces recent changes related to the incident, so responders like Miyoko and Noah can get quick context at a glance wherever they are. Now, engineers can also access this in the mobile app. Hi, Noah. There was a web deploy today that showed up in our change events just before this incident that I also see on mobile. Oh, there's also an incident being investigated on the mobile payments service that was listed as a probable origin for this one. Celine is on the mobile service incident. She was just notified about long server request times. Let's pull her in as well. Noah, Miyoko, and Celine continue to collaborate and troubleshoot further. Meanwhile, Noah upgrades the incident to a P1, seeing that there has been customer impact, and sends a status update to keep everyone informed. After communicating initial status, they dive into the diagnostic details obtained from run deck actions. Next, they determine the remediation plan. Okay, so let's start the new deployment. Sure, I'll start the workflow using Rundeck Actions. Perfect. Did it work? Should have, but let us run some diagnostics just to confirm. It looks like things are improving. Back in for front end services look good. Web also looks good. Data looks recovered according to our graphs from monitoring data too. Yes, the 500s have dropped too. Perfect. I'm going to send out a status update again to all stakeholders and customer-facing teams. Now I'll resolve the incident. Just double-checking that there is no further impact. Great. There are no outstanding incidents on the mobile payments API service as well. Following incident resolution, the team captures learnings to get more preventative and minimize impact even further the next time around. The event orchestration rules need to be updated to keep automating and improving our resolution times. First, Pay on the Go can modify their rules. Then, going forward, the platform will take an event like today's and classify it as a P1 instead of a P2. Next, Noah wants to update the rules to automatically trigger a run deck action for diagnostics, where, based on custom logic, the output report is generated even before the responder gets to it. Pay on the Go CEO, Ava, has been following all of the proactive status updates. Now that is what I like to see. Minimal downtime and low impact to the business. Kudos on the collaborative effort to minimize customer impact and also for the proactive communication of VIP customers like Hoffman's who expect Pay on the Go to never be down. Please remember to thank all those involved from your teams today. Dahlia from Customer Service has also been following the status of the incident. Great, looks like the issue is resolved and the team is catching up quickly. So glad I'm able to pay and check out. Pay on the Go strives to accelerate getting critical work done and automate incident response wherever and whenever possible with PagerDuty. To embrace Pay on the Go's fast pace of change, Many, like Noah, have grown to take on new roles and adopted new solutions like PagerDuty. With PagerDuty, teams can now find what they need and understand real-time context about how services connect and impact one another, a critical part of digital maturity. DevOps engineers like Miyoko gain more focus time with automated incident response, accelerating critical work and innovation across the company.